All right, so cool. How's everybody out there doing today? It is, of course, your boy, Volandis, back with another video. So I've made a lot of videos and different style of videos and different types of videos on this channel. Clearly, this is not a video that I thought I ever have to make in my life. But I did want to get on here and kind of talk to you guys candidly about the situation, the future of this channel, the future of me, just and have just like a candid conversation. I didn't write anything down. There's nothing that I'm planning to say. I'm just here to talk to you guys about the situation at hand. So this video is not going to be long winded or drawn out. Just here to have a conversation with you guys because I love you guys and I think you guys should know I'm pretty honest and open about the things in my life on this channel and just being true and honest in general with you guys overall. So anyway, yeah, I have cancer, specifically uh, ALL, which is acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is basically a blood cancer where uh, my white blood cells are very, very high. And it's just like a, a aggressive cancer of like the bone marrow and blood cells. So anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I started fasting for Ramadan and it was going well. A couple of days into fasting for Ramadan, I started to notice uh, some lower back pain and like some stomach pain and just some irritation in my stomach overall. I ended up going to urgent care, which I was reluctant to do because I don't usually go to the doctor for things because I can usually just get over it. But I ended up going to urgent care. They thought I had a kidney stone, which makes sense because when I was 19, I had like this kidney issue and I was in the hospital for like a couple of weeks with like kidney issues. So I thought maybe it might be that I wasn't drinking water. I wasn't really, you know, taking care of myself. So I just thought maybe I kind of got sick from fasting. Later that same night, I ended up going to the hospital because I couldn't like stand or really do anything. So I was like, I need to go to the hospital and figure out like what's act like if it's a kidney stone, I need to get the medicine. I need to like, you know, take care of it. So I went to the hospital. I'm in the hospital um, very late. They come, they, they take my blood. They take all the stuff. They like take a urine sample. They do all the stuff that they got to do. They gave me a CT scan. Um, and I'm sitting in there waiting, just waiting, just waiting. And they come back and they take my blood again. And I didn't necessarily think anything of that because whatever, I'm in the hospital, they take your blood again. So they took my blood again, waited again. Then they came back and they were like, oh, so you actually have uh, like your white blood cell count is actually extremely high. Like it's usually supposed to be this amount. And it was like well above that amount. To me, I'm still not understanding the real issue with that until the doctor was basically like, uh, yeah, this usually means like uh, blood leukemia. And I was like, interesting. But then they told me that they were going to admit me and have me see a doctor in the morning. So um, ever since that day, I was in the hospital for a week or so doing all these tests and uh, going back and forth with like different medical teams about uh, what it possibly could be trying to rule stuff out. I had to get a bone marrow biopsy. I had to um, do all this stuff. Anyway, they determined that it is ALL, which is the leukemia that I have. And ever since then, I have guess I've just been uh, fighting cancer. It's been a couple weeks now. I've had a few treatments. It's been going relatively good. Uh, all things considered, I am in good spirits. I know I might not seem like myself right now. I'm a little, little, little weak right now. I'm a little uh, kind of brain fogged and my voice sounds weird and just like a little bit overall not myself. But at the same time, I'm in very good and positive spirits. I'm not like sad. I'm not like down in the dumps. I'm not. My mental health is in a decent stage and I just overall feel good. I have a really, really, really good support team behind me with my family, Amal, uh, my friends, just everybody who's who, who knows about this already has been the biggest help that they could have been like that I could have ever imagined. And without that, I don't know where I'd be mentally in this process. I am just in the process of getting care and, uh, you know, fighting cancer and doing all the things that I need to do to make sure, you know, that I'm OK. So I do want to say that I think it's important for me to note that this isn't a death sentence. Now, clearly the thought of cancer and going through cancer and the treatment and everything that comes with it is terrifying. But at the same time, I do think that it's a great time and opportunity to learn more about myself and just 
life itself and make the best of this experience that I guess I physically and mentally can, if that makes sense. So far, I've had really, really bad days and I've had some decent days. So I like to take some of those decent days with the bad and just be as positive as I possibly can. So, yeah, I guess I don't really know too much more of uh, what to say, just that clearly these videos are going to be a little different. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of videos from home. Um, anybody who knows anything about this type of cancer or whatever the case may be, you know that my white blood cell count has to come down. But during that time, like when my white blood cell count is down, I'm going to be really I'm, like I'm going to be really receptive to getting sick. So, like, I can't really go outside or be around a lot of people or do things or travel or anything like that. So um, probably going to be doing a lot of videos in the house. A lot of uh, these videos are going to be a little different, maybe longer to put out or to do this whole setup. Just sitting down talking took a, a way too long to do. But yeah, I do want you guys to know that I am OK. I'm still I'm still going to be making videos. I'm probably going to lose my hair, which is devastating. In the meantime, these videos are still going to be getting made and I'm still going to be doing my best to give you guys uh, content or whatever you want to call it. Just being creative because this whole entire time it, when I was in the hospital, since I've been home, just the entire time, the only thing I could think about is really just making these videos or what I'm going to do next or what kind of videos can I make while I'm going through. It's just I'm thinking about these videos constantly. So clearly I'm going to still be making these videos. I'm still going to be putting stuff out and trying to, you know, be, I just can't let that part go. So I'm still going to be doing it. My friend Sam did set up a GoFundMe for my treatments and stuff like that. And just like things that I might have to deal with uh, in time. So if you guys want to support that, the link of that will be in the description clearly i'm selling luts and doing all the other stuff that i normally do but um if you guys want to support by supporting the gofundme link let me know um any of the money that's donated that i do not use will be donated back into another charity involving leukemia so regardless this is all going towards leukemia but anyway yeah man with that being said i hope you guys have a good one uh stay blessed and get out there and go do some shit you know vibes, man. Let's get it. See y'all in the next one. Might not have hair next time y'all see me. Oh my God. Uh, let's get it.